hey everybody how we doing out there good to see everybody good to see everyone chatting in the chat i'm here uh in my cozy holiday retreat as you can see uh i've got this uh right right here you can see how cold and wet is I oh i don't want to chop my yeah you can see how cold and wet it is outside nice fireplace thank you do it in the chat um yeah i'm just cozy here uh in uh oh don't want to don't want to catch the edge of my uh, uh, uh. all right um i'm here in my cozy fireplace having a little chat with my friends about to do some cooking we're gonna do a little uh a little cooking show for you all out there so i'm glad you could all join us uh thanks for showing up we super appreciate everybody being here um if you're not familiar sports social is a an after school center where we teach uh social skills and life skills through music and arts and sports and stuff like that super fun place check it out um as always, we, uh, we run this Twitch channel as a fun place to hang out online. So tune in most weeknights. We are here streaming something or other, uh, hanging out, playing games, doing whatever, chill, cool, laid back, positive place to hang out. So uh, I hope you guys can join us um, real quick. Well, I'm not gonna run through the whole the whole schedule of stuff right now, but just know that you know throughout the week, all the time, year round, uh, we're here playing games, hanging out, uh, being cool friends. And in the meantime, we're going to do a little bit of cooking. So I've got a couple of my good, good friends. We've got Haley and Leslie in the kitchen right now. We're about to go join them. Uh, Jamie is on tech running the cameras and whatnot in the background over there. Um, and we're going to go jump into the kitchen and see what they're up to. They're going to show us around, show us what they're cooking. And uh, let's go check it out right now. <laughs> Um, I'm Haley. I'm Leslie. And we are going to be making some braided salmon with a honey garlic glaze. And we're going to make some homemade mashed potatoes and asparagus for you guys today. This is our first time on location and our first time doing cooking for me. Leslie has done cooking before. So you guys are just going to get started and here we go. So stuff that you need, we bought... Uh, <laughs> A slab of salmon. I don't know if that's what it's called, but it looks like a slab of salmon. And that's how we're going to start. So we already washed it ahead of time. So you, that's the first thing you want to do is you want to clean it. And then we're going to cut the salmon so we can break it. So uh, get yourself a good knife that cuts through fish because a lot of knives don't. Um, for the salmon, you can use skin on, or I don't know which camera I'm looking at, but skin on or skin off. Both of us like skin on, so that's what we left it on. Feel free to cut it off, but we didn't want to. So I'm going to start with cutting the salmon. And you're going to want to cut it, obviously, braiding, so three pieces. So as you can see right here, it's pretty thick. I'm going to cut three as evenly as I can from top to bottom. So, but you're going to leave a piece where it's all still connected. So I'm not going to start cutting until about like an inch and a half down. Probably like an inch. And we're just gonna go for it. Like I said, get a good knife. Of course, the salmon's a little big, so gotta move it up on the cutting board. And let's see if it went through. Gotta do it again real quick. There we go. Almost. Alright, one more, one more cut. <laughs> this is a good knife, I promise. It's just the cutting board is not that long. Ooh. All right. Hello. It's always, oh, here we go. It's always a little bit harder to cut it with the skin, but it tastes better in my opinion. So there we go. I think we got it that time. All right. So there's the first piece of the braid. Perfect. Now we're going to do the second piece. So you only have to cut two slits, but it's going to make it into three pieces. So. in three different pieces, as you can see. 
we're going to season it next because you want all of the seasoning. Because when you braid it, it's going to be all over each other. So you want to season it before you do the braid. And honestly, it's a little, like I said, this is a little bit large for the cutting board. So I'm going to lift this piece up that's still connected and just kind of put it on those paper towels so it's easier to work with. All right. So for our seasoning, we'll let Leslie do that part. So we're going to season with some onion powder. <laughs> and we're just going to sprinkle it pretty heavily on the salmon. We like some good seasoning. Um, a little bit of black pepper. So you want to get like it all nice and seasoned. And then we're going to rub it in. Um, so we got the onion powder, the black pepper, some pink Himalayan salt. It's healthier than the kosher salt. Sorry. Make sure you're washing your hands a lot because it's gross. <laughs> Plus it's raw fish, so you don't want to spread that around your kitchen. We have um, garlic powder. So again, we're going to season it pretty heavy. Smoked paprika. We'll make sure we get all those flavors in there. And then once we're done seasoning, we're just going to like pat it in there. Yep. Make sure we have it all nice and flavorful. Lots of flavor. We don't like bland food in this kitchen. <laughs> cool. So now we can start the braiding. Get your braid on, girl. And we're going to braid just like you would a hair. <laughs> <laughs> so you go under. She also can braid hair at a charge. Long hair only, please. Yeah, I'm not sure if there is too much. Let's make this a little bit tight. Make it nice and tight on the braid, like she said. Shout out to all my Jewish friends who celebrate Hanukkah, because Kala, we braid it just like that. <laughs> <laughs> and now we're braiding salmon. It's beautiful. And then That's once crazy. you finish braiding it, you can kind of put the whole thing on the, the cutting board because it takes some length away. Yeah, so you want to make sure you get to a nice, thick, long piece of salmon. And then we are going to preheat the oven to 400 degrees. Um, like we said, it's pretty thick, so we want it a little bit higher because it's a lot of layers. Yes, that looks great. Wow, good job. So after you're done braiding, um, you're just going to put this nice salmon braid inside a pan that we've already pre-cut lemons into. Yep, so literally to cut the lemon, we're just going to show you real quick, not with this knife, use a serrated knife. Uh, it's a little bit easier. You're gonna cut off. Uh, you're gonna cut off the um, the end piece. I don't know what that's called, but you're gonna cut off the end piece of the lemon. Like axe, so your lemon should look like this, and then you're just gonna cut slices, basically how we lined it. So your slices should all look like this. I'm gonna just add another one because I just cut that one. And then, like she said, we're gonna put that into the pan. Uh, you want to grab the bottom It is really helpful to have two people because four hands is better than two. Just heads up, uh, Julie Rosen says Coley and I love it. I think oh that's my god! Cool. Hi, so Cole! Hi, Julie. Julie! Hi, guys! Thank yeah. you for joining us. I wish you guys were here because we have too much food for us for you. <laughs> Gina says, Is this a food delivery service too? <laughs> no, you've lived too far, Gina. Um, Alright, so that's how you braid the salmon and then the next thing we're going to make is we're going to make like a butter honey glaze that we're going to pour over the salmon before we put it into the oven so for that we are going to get like a saucepan with a lid because you want to put a lid on it so for this should we come over here i guess we could do it here all right we're going to do it here and then we're going to put it on the oven. So I'm going to put this, or the stove, sorry, the stove. We're going to turn on the stove to like medium heat, just so because we're doing this in here, we want the pan to get hot. So that salmon looks good. We 
We are going to use butter. We're healthy around here, so organic, earth balanced, vegan. Andrew would approve. Andrew's trying to make us all healthy, which we appreciate, kind of. All right. Um, also, we're going to have our guest Jamie come open this because Leslie and I's nails are too long. Thank you. You want to look at our nails? They're great. <laughs> My nails are really short. So, <laughs> so he's going to open up for us. Yay! Thanks. So Jamie. I just put the whole thing in? No. 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 So, no. I thought it was vegan. We don't want Jamie talking. Um, honestly, neither of us are really into measuring cups, so I'm just going to grab like a spoonful, put it in, two spoonfuls, because who doesn't like butter and it's healthy butter, so whatever. Gibson Cat 9 says that salmon looks amazing. All right. So put the butter in. Yeah, thanks, gravy. Now we're going to do some honey. Now the more honey you put, obviously the sweeter it's going to be. Oh, perfect. Go hard with the honey. I love some honey. All right. Oh, and Dope says, pro tip, the two ends of the lemons are called the stem and the blossom. Thank you. Good Learn something. All right, soy sauce. Shout out to Trader Joe's, send us free stuff because I use your soy sauce. So we're going to, I like a lot of soy sauce. Um, how do you feel about soy sauce? Go ahead. We're going to put a good amount of soy sauce. We want to glaze it pretty well, so the so, more the merrier. Yeah, this is what it's going to look like. Probably going to put a little bit more butter because you're right. We want a lot of glaze on that, like a lot of salmon. So a little bit more butter, and then we're going to put it on to the stove top. So I'm going to start that. And you kind of want to get it to a boil, so I'm going to turn it up a little bit, actually. And then in the meantime, we are going to chop, um, we're going to get our mashed potatoes started. We're going to get our mashed potatoes started, that's right. So, um, I'm a clean as I go type of person. Everyone who knows me is laughing because they know I don't like to clean But it's the kitchen, so the kitchen always has to stay clean. Always. So I'm going to just clean off. We always don't use the same cutting board for your raw fish and your vegetables. That's not good. Salmonella. Is that in? I don't know. All right. Sorry, you know we got to scream for a second. All right. So for the potatoes, look, Leslie's washing like a good, good person, cool friend. For the potatoes, you're gonna boil your potatoes for like 15 to 20 minutes, just till they're like nice and tender. You can put a fork through them. But to make it easier, you're going to cut them into fours. Let's go ahead and rinse off this cutting board. Morgan, aka Alejandro, asks, is this going to turn into an ASMR dinner time later or not? <laughs> what does ASMR mean? ASMR is like the very whispery like sounds that make your like back tingle. Like when people like whisper into the microphone and like say, you know, they hear like clicking, like nails clicking. You've never heard of ASMR? Yeah, I forget what the acronym stands for. I see it on TikTok a lot, but yeah. I never knew what it stood for. It can be like making slime or I only know GMR Today's the day that w. Haley learned what ASMR is. Thanks, Morgan. <laughs> Thanks, Andro. All right, so you're going to cut your potato into half. Look at how great it looks when I cut these nails, people. <laughs> so you're going to cut it in half, and then you're going to just flip it over. Cut it again into half from the top, again from the top. And while we're doing this, we're going to start boiling our water to boil. <laughs> so I'm going to put the halves in here. I don't know if I mentioned wash your potatoes. Always wash your stuff, guys. So we're going to put all these in here. We already pre-cut some, so now that's in there. You can season your water if you want. You should season your water because especially glam for the potatoes. Yeah, potatoes for sure. So our glaze is done. Oh my gosh, that's fast. Yeah, we're going to just add a little bit of seasoning to the glaze. We're going to put some like smoked paprika. I love salt. Probably don't put that much salt, but I love it. So. Gina, Gina says, I don't know what looks better. That braided sandwich or you two ladies and Jamie. From Courtney. Hey, Court, what's Santa up, girl? Court Court. Hi. Thanks, guys, for watching. And thank you, everyone, for watching. All right. Now you're going to. Nope, go for it, girl. Now, like you said, you're going to pour that honey soy glaze. Oh, it smells so good. I wish we had some mental vision. I know. Mm -hmm. It really does smell oh, so good. Oh, look at that pour. Oh. Mm -mm. Get, a close, get a close up of that. 
Ready? Let's do it. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. My gosh. So, you want to get all in the crevices, all around. Mm -hmm. yes. And really soak up this salmon. Looks so good. Two cameras plus audio, no smell of this yet. <laughs> We're working on that for the next stream. Cool. So our salmon's in the pan. It's braided. It's seasoned. It's glazed. Now Ooh. it's ready. All right, there we go. Slip. All right, so now we're going to put it in the oven. You're going to put this in the oven at 400 degrees for 20 minutes. Yep. So we can put a timer in here. So we're Get to ask, does the braiding make it taste better? Absolutely. Braids always make it taste better. It keeps the moisture in, um, but moisture. you still get that nice crust on top. So that's, Yeah, that's why we like the skin, because it gives it a little crispness on the bottom. All right. Now, so our next side that we need to get started on is our asparagus. Which, there we go. Again, Trader Joe's sponsor us. We're using Rue, Trader Joe's asparagus. Rue asked, does Usher like salmon? Of course, Usher. I think I'd make it an Usher too. Say it louder. Usher, Usher, when you're here for your residency, uh, for Susie, I'll make this for you. Someone tag Usher. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's rinse off this um, cutting board again. And then, like I said, we're just going to use the Trader Joe's salmon. Um, sorry, a budget didn't accommodate for organic, Andrew. We apologize. But we love GMO sometimes. Yep. So, so we're going to GMO it up. It's still from Trader Joe's. Again, what we're going to do is we are going to rinse our vegetables. And we take it out of the bag. And I'm going to just put it in this like big mixing bowl that I have. And we're just going to mix it with some hot, warm, not warm, I'm sorry. Luke, warm water, room temperature water. <laughs> and just clean it off because even though it's in a bag, I'm sure the thousands of people touch that. And that's gross. I'm going to just rinse it off. And then you always want to cut off your stem. It's so like, oops. Like, no one wants to eat that part right there. So, cut like, I don't know what you said, an inch. like an inch off the bottom. Um, I'm really bad at cutting a bunch of stuff at once, so I'm going to do like half and half. I just throw this away. Clean as you go, people. It makes your life easier. So, again, I'm just going to kind of just pick about like an inch and a half. You know how there was like black? Who did daily at night? Thank you. Perfect. That's half. Let's move the other half. Yes, ma'am. So let's switch it here. Line those babies up. Oh yeah, that was a good tip. I didn't give them that tip. And go for the big top. I know. <laughs> After it's I just so gave a speech about better knives, she needs better knives. I better knives. knives. <laughs> I have a really good fish cutting knife, which is all that matters to me. You need a big vegetable knife. <laughs> we should use this serrated one. Target registry? Yeah, if you guys want this again, we're going to start a registry. Stop <laughs> So when I was younger, I actually used to sell kitchen knife. So now when I come Stop. across... Stop. Where's the cutlery? Cut 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 the best kitchen knife <laughs> ever. First of all, that was a scheme, I swear. It totally was, but not the knife. I either. told my mom, I was like, I got a job, and she was so excited, and I told her it was Cutco, and employee she was like, wise, it was not a job. Yeah, employee-wise, total pyramid scheme. Kitchen knife-wise, I saw it cut Any it day cut over pure Kamachi. Go Cutco. <laughs> Go Cutco. <laughs> the the Cutco knife did cut through a penny, which was pretty impressive. Mm -hmm. Like, it, that was their selling. 
DeWitt says, oh man, my brother tried to sell cut coat. Didn't go well. <laughs> I ended up buying. It didn't go well for anybody. I ended up buying the nice Gibson said, Haley's nails are always on point. Oh, thank you, guys. I think you both, both should show your nails close up at some point. Like, that cool. Yeah, she has like more iridescent holiday nails. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Don't cut them off at the night. I'm trying so hard. I feel yes. like. My nails look like sharp. I'm like, yeah, my nails are not coming off. Shout out to my nail brush. Perfect. Cool. So we got those chopped and ready to go. So next, um, we're actually going to coat this too with like a garlic butter. We sure are. Um, we minced some garlic already, but I'll just kind of show you guys what you want to do. Yeah. So you take like an extra thick knife um, and you literally just press it down. Mm -hmm. And then this is what I see my scrubs here, right? So it just makes it easier to peel. And for anyone wondering whose glamorous kitchen we're in, Sports Social rented this kitchen for us. I'm just kidding, it's mine. <laughs> um, so you peel, basically just peel, peel it away and then you start chopping in the small, small pieces. all the layers until so you have this like small bit and then you make those little smaller squares. Look at you go girl. Yep, so we're going to take our now minced garlic, mm -hmm. put it in oh um, gosh, so a good. saucepan with butter, and then our organic vegan butter. More, like we said, like we said, uh, I mean, I say this, the more butter, the better, but just depending on your health, maybe don't use this. <laughs> 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 so good though. Cool, so same thing like we did before with the sauce, so we're just going to heat it on the stove and make Make it nice and juicy. Cool. Yeah. Let me just get into it. So we're gonna clean as we go. Clean as we go. I made that rule because it's my kitchen and I hate cleaning. <laughs> All right. So now our asparagus is in our bowl. We're melting that butter. We are going to to cook this. Sorry, to cook the asparagus, we're going to shallow boil it. So what that means is basically what I'm saying. You can just put a little bit of water on the bottom. Throw the asparagus in for like this is really thin asparagus. Good job, Trader Joe's. Not a lot of GMO. And um, honestly, two to three minutes is enough when it's this thin. If you get that like thicker asparagus, you're probably gonna wanna leave it in for like six to seven minutes on like medium to high heat. So I'm gonna season it first. And we are going to put some salt. Maybe don't use as much as me. Unless you like salt a lot, like I do, no shame. And then we're gonna just put some, I don't wanna use garlic powder because we're using real garlic. Some pepper and a little bit of onion powder. I'm actually going to add some lemon to our butter sauce. Yes, lemon on everything. I'm going to wash my hands real quick because I don't remember if I did before I touched this. I mean, I've been washing them, but wash, like I said, wash your hands a lot once you're going to be touching food that's in people's mouths. So, uh, lastly, while we want some downtime, what's your, what are you doing for Christmas this year? 
Um, so this is my first Christmas away from family. Oh my gosh. I usually is it your first Christmas in Vegas? It is my first Christmas in wow. Vegas. Um, I usually spend my Christmas with, I have eight nephews. Sheesh. Um, two of them are nieces. So I have six nephews and two nieces. And I love watching little kids, like the, the joy on their face when they open gifts and like, no My wonder you're friends. such a good instructor. Yeah, I love when kids open. So I love when kids establish reinforcement. <laughs> I think it's cool. Um, I'm not an RBT. I don't know what that means. Which, yeah, so it kind of sucks that I won't see that today. But there's stuff like FaceTime now. So yep. I'm definitely going to call them. I got my first Christmas tree. Oh my gosh, a real one yeah. or a fake one? I got a fake one. It's same girl. Make it last longer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So... Our asparagus is um, seasoned. We're gonna just leave it for a second because our potatoes are taking a little bit longer than we expected to boil. We Listen. might have made a little too many mashed potatoes, but it's okay. So, and now, this is what like the pan that we're gonna cook our mashed potatoes, or our mashed potatoes, our asparagus in. I'm gonna just put that over here. And while we're waiting for that to boil, Leslie and I are just gonna talk with you guys so is there any questions anyone has like as far as cooking that we've done and Jamie will read any out to us anything Jamie any light back there <laughs> oh sound alert well we have nine minutes left to check on our salmon um everything is on the stove right now um what are the fun holiday things that you do I would like if you, so Brady redeemed, or Gibson Cat redeemed a sheesh sound alert, but uh, we don't have them set up, so if we could get you two to give your best sheesh or singing, oh if you could that. provide the sound alert, that would be incredible. What is the sound alert for? Sheesh. Sheesh. How do you want to do it? That was mine. All right. Okay. I'll do my best. <laughs> sheesh. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, we want to apologize for our lack of holiday attire. We went to four stores <laughs> to find something holiday themed. And, you know, the holidays are big around here because all we could yeah. find was some of them. So, I was surprised to see some yeah, of them. No, Target was a mess. People do your holiday shopping yesterday. Yesterday. It was too much. All right. Um, other Christmas, favorite Christmas movie. What's your favorite Christmas movie? Um, my favorite Christmas movie is probably Home Alone. Oh, that's a classic. Yeah, I love Home Alone. We have a question from Dove. Uh, is this a family recipe? This is not a family <laughs> recipe. It's a sports social family recipe. That's exactly. Sports social family recipe. LV Sports Social says Christmas movie is Jingle All the Way. Ooh. Is that the Okay, I know that one. Join me! Join me! Join me! Um, um, Jamie, I redeemed, I redeemed an oh yeah, so if you could give a nice oh yeah. That's my name, man. Go for it. Here you go. Oh yeah. <laughs> I did sheesh. <laughs> Both of you have to So do what's, wait, that. what's your favorite holiday movie? Um, <laughs> my favorite holiday movie, this isn't really a holiday movie, but it's like my holiday tradition is to watch Harry Potter. Because they have the best Christmases, so of course it's my favorite Christmas. When Harry has his first Christmas, like away from him, yeah. So good, Hedwig. My Hedwig. favorite Christmas Hedwig. movie is Eight Crazy Nights with Adam Sandler. That's the cartoon. That's a good one. AKA Hanukkah movie. Wow. Well, but I would say my I favorite. Let me just come on camera. Yeah, please. come on camera, Jamie. Join us. My are, favorre oh, Christmas our movie. Oh, the are boiling. It's a waste of time. Cold no, water. Camera. My favorite Christmas movie is <laughs> Elf. Oh, I love Elf. Santa. So funny. Um, fun fact for our sports social Christmas party, Santa showed up. Santa was awesome. And when he showed up, everyone screamed that like we were in the movies. So. Oh, really? <laughs> I missed that one. Aww. That Santa was pretty hype. That Santa was great. Whoever hired him, good job. What um, was honey used for? That's for that's honey and garlic glaze. glaze. Wait, this and then honey garlic went on top of the salmon? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was in the Jamie was really paying attention over here. Cool. I'm so Jamie, excited to eat those. What are you doing for Christmas this year? I'm hanging out with my mom and family. That's fun. Sometimes I volunteer, but I haven't set anything up this year. Uh, but maybe I'll go help someone. I'm really just going to relax and hang out with family. That sounds lovely. You know, enjoy the nice cool air. 
Oh, yeah. I want to go snowboarding for the first time this winter. I've never been. You haven't ever been? Have you? I've been sledding. I have been, but not here. Yeah. I, Where? Back home in New Mexico. They have snowboarding in New Mexico? A lot of snow. What? Fun fact. Oh. No one knows. For like, some reason, under everyone Arizona. asks me that. There's a lot of snow there. Go to New Mexico for Christmas. Oh. I've New Mexico. <laughs> visit for Christmas yeah, and visit the Breaking Bad house. I need to look at chat. Chat, you guys rock. Thank you for being here. Thanks, Jamie. I'll be back on camera in a second. All right, so do you can let's check these potatoes. Yeah, those potatoes are boiling. Um, we just need like a quart to stack. I think it. they probably need another ten. I'm sure. Maybe not. It's gonna depend like ten. how you like your mashed potatoes. I like. I don't like mine too like creamy and watery. That's not my vibe. Do you like them chunky? I like a few chunks here and there. How's it going? Oh, more. more Maybe time. like five more minutes. Five more minutes on that. And then what oh. we can do then with that happening. All right. So now we're going to shallow boil. Sounds really fancy, but I promise you it's not. Can I cut it more quick? Oh. Did anyone see the rebooted Home Alone? With like, there's lots on Disney Plus. They made like a new Home Alone. What? No. Someone in chat talked about Home Alone Wait. with the Callisters. I don't know if there's this like little the guy and sandwiches? No, the the <laughs> oh, what? What's in the sandwich. Oh, it's a sandwich. deli that's delicious. Oh, oh hell yeah, I love delis. Heck yeah, I mean, family friendly channel. Um, so the new Home Alone, the kid in it looks like a mini Ricky yeah. Gervais. Who's you guys know that? he's like the British actor. He's like really mean to everybody. Oh. If you saw his face, you'd know who it is. Okay. Watch the rebooted Home Alone. It's super cheesy, but the kid is funny. <laughs> Bye bye. Time for asparagus. No one beats Macaulay Culkin. All right. Um, shallow shallow boil. boil. So, um, our butter, lemon garlic butter for the asparagus is done. So we're just gonna pour that. Um, half of it. Yeah, we'll pour half. We'll and then pour the rest the other half. Yeah, while well, it's cooking. Mm -hmm. All right. So we put that in there and just kind of give it a little toss, and then you're gonna fill up your frying pan. With like, not even a third of the way, just like a little bit to cover the whole bottom. You don't want the full asparagus submerged. And you're gonna put it on the stove top. You're gonna put it to like a medium heat. Let the pan get a little warm, like see some bubbles on the water. And then we are going to just drop our asparagus in. And that's how you shower. Make sure, yes, you're gonna make sure you have a lid. Like I said, this we should actually time. How oh, long did we time it? The sand? Yeah. Oh, no, right. I really, what is the Santa hat sitting on? <laughs> that was Jamie's decorative decorative idea, and it's sitting on a paper towel holder. <laughs> no clean. Yeah, we pre-cut paper towels. Can it see us over here? Can you guys see us over here? Um. Perfect. Sorry, right. I'm just checking the potatoes, guys. I'm gonna I just want to wait till a couple like bubbles come up from that water, so it's like kind of hot. That way we can just be on. Do you want to like? Oh yeah, look Might at Jamie well. making moves. Yep. So this is our mashed potatoes. Not yet. They're gonna be mashed potatoes. And then turn it up a little, just so we can get some bubbles happening. Turn it up. Turn so it we up. cut the potatoes because it's they cook quicker once you boil them cut. And then it makes it easier to peel after if you want your mashed potatoes with or without the skin. Again, um, we're skin girls. We yeah, so we're gonna leave, leave it on. Skin on. <laughs> <laughs> but it does make it easier to peel once they're done, so. Mm, the luck of the Irish. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so there's like a little bit of steam. Oh, around this around Christmas here. tree. I'm gonna show your house a little bit, Haley. Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, do 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 do. Dang! Look at the balls on that tree. Definitely, puppies are always great. All right. All right, so we're gonna shallow boil right now. So I'm gonna just drop all of this asparagus into that little bit of water. I want to go four minutes just because, or it's like, yeah, you know, like three and a half just because there's kind of a lot of spices. I told everyone in the, uh, oh, my mom is in chat. Heck yeah. 
Hey mom, thanks for chatting. You're the best. Happy Christmas. Um, and she says she's actually the Christian one. So um, Merry Christmas. Sorry. <laughs> we mash them with the skin. That's where all the vitamins are. Yeah, exactly. Tell tell Stephanie you're right. You are right, Stephanie. That is a good reason to keep the skin on. We have a special guest coming to the stream. Does. Do, 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 do. Is he going to get some salmon? Is he a lucky little puppy? Is he a lucky little... <laughs> Are you a lucky little... Okay, okay, I know it's a machine. It's a sports social mascot. Oh, Zazu is not down for this. Don't worry, wash my hands and I'll wash my hands. Zazu. Say hi to the people. Hey, stop eating that or barks, you guys. I promise. Zaz. It's okay. It's because it's a... crazy bird okay audio's back sorry chat audio's back you met zazu and we're still kicking salmon so we did 400 the salmon's really thick 400 for 20 minutes so we're gonna leave it just for like another five to hey guys hey maddie all right she said zazi we're going to make um, some more glaze just to put over the top because um, we like flavor here. So again, not big into measuring cups. So I'm going to put some more butter. We gave him attention. I was not going to stop. More butter. I'm gonna put that there. Some more honey. Um, everyone should support honey. Keep the bees alive. Yes. Keep the bees alive. Coming from an orchid master. Woman of many talents over in that corner. Bees are actually like slowly dying off, so keep them alive, guys. And then we're not gonna have our coffee. Don't knock down, you know, beehives and stuff. Ooh, let them be. Let them be. Corny long joke. All right, so you get a close up for that. <laughs> what should we do for the bees? We should. Let them be. <laughs> Sounds <right>. good. <laughs> Our potatoes are done. So, and our asparagus is one minute away from getting done. Asparagus, one minute away. I never liked asparagus as a kid, and I love asparagus now. You know what? I didn't. It is incredible. Asparagus and Brussels sprouts. And it makes your pee smell weird. No, like, Here's a question for chat. Who has the genetic gene in your DNA that makes your pee smell weird after you eat uh, asparagus? What? This is you ever heard of this? No. Some people, after they eat asparagus, their pee smells weird. Everybody pees. This is not inappropriate. We all pee. I'm a girl. I'm Girls pee. <laughs> Does your pee smell weird after you eat salmon? No, because I see very hydrated. That shouldn't matter. So maybe your pee doesn't smell. Anyway, okay, are we back? We're going to get um, off the pizza. We are going to now empty the water from the potatoes. Make some mashed potatoes. Um, again, butter. To make the mashed potatoes, you're going to make, use butter. Uh, Leslie and I both like to use some sour cream. Let me grab the sour cream. It's pretty much safe to use anything that's like white in your fridge. So you can put like mayo, sour cream, 
milk, heavy cream. If you like ranch, you can put a little bit of ranch. Some people put cheese. It's really up to you and your taste buds. Oh, there's one. Heavy cream. All right. So you want to strain the potatoes. I actually have a coriander. Is that what it's called? I think so. Oh, one thing we didn't. Oh, well. All right, asparagus needs to come off. Shallow boil is over. After she's done straining, I'm going to strain the water from the asparagus. I told the olive work that you cut yourself. And now I'm, to <laughs> I'm surprised they didn't do it. All right, the asparagus. Is done. I'm going to put it in some tin foil just to keep it warm. I still have some water in this. So the I'm crowd just to... cheered for you guys. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> Actually, the sound alerts are off, so when you have free hands, you should cheer for yourself. Yeah, definitely use a strainer. <laughs> we lost a potato if you have a strainer. We shall lose no more potatoes. Are we gonna mash those? Oh my yes, God, we so are. Good. So we're gonna use real quick. Put this in some foil just to keep it hot because it gets cool kind of quick. All right, there we go. So for mashed potatoes, I like to use this. Perfect. Yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Lots of pepper. <laughs> season to your liking. As you see, we might over season, but I like things tend to like lose flavor when they're being steamed and boiled and things. So it's okay. Oh heck yeah! Yeah, it's working wrong. Do some half and half. Some sour cream. Good. A good couple dollops of sour cream. Yeah. Sour cream is. This Here, use that spoon. The same butter spoon. Sorry, I like sour cream. Yeah, use a lot of sour cream. Oh, that's our salmon timer again. That might have been a little too much. That's good. And then we just mash. All right. While Leslie's mashing, I'm going to move this stuff over and show you what the salmon looks like for a final glaze. Just pour it right on top. Yes. And we turn the stove off or the oven. Sorry. But we're gonna just put it in for like another two minutes, just to like let that final glaze caramelize. Then we'll take it out again. Just like two minutes. Don't put it in for too much longer. Just want it to like caramelize a little. Ooh. Hot in here. Too nutty. Wow, I didn't set off the smoke detector. I'm really <laughs> proud. It's a common thing that happens in this apartment. Because the ceilings aren't too high. Oh yes, yeah, so those mashed potatoes are looking bomb. They smell so Do you want to use a, a fork? I'm not like a big masher. Like I don't like the mashing tool, but I love a, a good fork. Yes. Just push it on the sides. Because that whisk is wire. Not doing too much. Yes. Oh. Oops. <laughs> I just ruined Leslie's shirt. Oh God. It's okay. She'll buy me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. We are getting to the end of our Christmas meal. So, I think we're not sweaty. I am. <laughs> I had to turn off the air because it was a little loud. And now that the air is off, a little toasty. All right. Any final favorite Christmas memories? 
Go. Christmas memory. Um, my favorite Christmas memory. I don't know if this is appropriate, but there was this one Christmas when I was a teenager, and I wanted to introduce my new boyfriend to my family. Oh, at Christmas? Yeah, I know it was a perfect time, and it was so embarrassing. My brothers like ran him out of the house. They didn't shake his hand. They didn't even let him in the door. I felt so bad. He came dressed so nice with a suit. He was very Aww. handsome. He was very handsome, but very he didn't, nice. he didn't make it we won't say any names, but Leslie apologizes for that. <laughs> They didn't let him in the door, but it's my favorite moment because it kind of showed me um, that my brother's got my back, you know? That guy didn't turn out to be a very good pick. So, thank you, bros. That was a good Christmas gift that year. <laughs> my favorite, favorite Christmas memory was meeting Santa for the first time after leaving Sunday School Temple with my Jewish Hebrew <laughs> And it was solid. Did you have a yarmulke on, too? Nope. No? I took that off when I left. I don't wear my yarmulke everywhere. But I had my like cool Hebrew shirt and Santa still accepted me, so thanks Santa. Nice. That's good. Kaylee, what's your favorite Christmas memory? You know what? My favorite Christmas memory is one time, I think I was in like eighth grade, maybe seventh. Um our house got broken into. Uh they didn't weird thing was it didn't take anything. We have an alarm, probably scared them off. But it got broken into, so like our windows were all messed up. Oh, no. And like I said, it snows in New Mexico, so you couldn't stay in there with uh, with no window. So my mom got us a hotel room. What a queen she is! And she bought us a little tree and oh, put it in the freaking in nice. the hotel room. Yeah. It was probably like the funnest Christmas because. I got to her room service. So <laughs> really uh, how cool. Yeah. social sense. That is cute. I'm, let's record this and send it to my mom. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Um, like we said, we like chunkier mashed potatoes. If you like more creamy, what I would do if I were you is add some more milk slash half and half, whatever you prefer. Uh, we're going to put a little bit of garlic powder in here. Do you still want your money? I like a lot of garlic. And then a little bit of salt. We put a lot of butter. And now, where's the pepper? Oh, pepper. Yeah. Some pepper. And Grady said we are recording this, so you can show them. Heck yeah. And a little bit farther back, JK Turtle said not only with the skins, but some cream cheese wouldn't be amiss either. Shoot, yeah, you're cream. so right. Cream cheese oh. and potatoes? That's yeah. Great. My Thanksgiving mashed potatoes? I know I overdid it with garlic, everyone, I get it. But cream cheese is fire. Yes. Enough. Dang it, whoever said that, you are so right. We messed up. If I had cream, oh, I have cream cheese, come on. I have some cream cheese in here. I don't want cream cheese, but 500% add some cream cheese to this. Oops. Cool. All right, guys. Um, so now let's take that salmon back out and we can plate it. Yay! Okay, there's a little bit. Thank you. Um, we are going to wash this knife. The only good knife I have, according to Leslie. <laughs> um, cut oh, we can cut the salmon. Cut coat. Everyone works for cut coat. Please call us for our next drink. Yeah, or just, you know, buy me one. Cut buy me a cut coat knife. Or Haley. She can do this. Buy her two. You can give me one. <laughs> a little trio pack. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. It looks great. Fun fact that we didn't want to tell anyone at the beginning of the stream. This is the first time we've ever done this. <laughs> but it came out good, so now we'll tell you guys. Yeah, so if we can do it on our first try, you guys can right. probably give it a try. So now we're going to get a plate. And... Careful. Oh, no. Now, look at how pretty that looks. Wow. Hold on, we're just, we're gonna just like, maybe there's a spatula? This is not gonna work. <laughs> all right, we need a big spoon, and just like kind of all that juice, put it to the side and just like, yes. oh, heck yeah. Look at that beautiful color. Yes. It smells delicious. It smells so good, oh my gosh. Anyone from Sports Social who lives in the area, come eat some of this because we, uh... Haley and I know how to cook! Hey! <laughs> That's why I'm the grocery shopper. 
<laughs> wow, look how tender and how easy yes. that cuts. Yes. And then, listen, it looks like I don't know where anything is, and I don't, but that's because my roommate reorganized everything. It's not because I don't cook. So put a little piece, that's not a little piece of salmon, but <laughs> it's a good hefty piece of salmon. Then we are going to grab our asparagus, that has been kept warm, we're going to this. Let's see you serve those mashed potatoes. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Oopsies, it's awesome to eat that one. LG Sports Social says dinner at Haley's house. <laughs> Perfect. And that is how you make braided salmon, salmon <laughs> with honey garlic glaze and homemade mashed potatoes and asparagus. I'm gonna eat these asparagus. Mm. Oh yeah! Literally perfect. It's not too soggy. We got it crunch. Yes. We got it crunch. We were nervous because for some reason both of us always hate <laughs> soggy asparagus, but look it, it is not soggy. It's mm -hmm. delicious. We got a crunch. So, let me not talk with my mouth full of food. So we got our salmon, our mashed potatoes. Oh, Someone take a bite of that. Dove says, looks delicious. Great job, game. Now we need Jamie to be our taste test. I'm so lucky. Oh my gosh. Go for the salmon first. Woo! The crispy. You're yeah. like the guy that you know guy's kitchen. Guy Ferrari. Yeah. Ferrari. <laughs> Ferrari. It's so good. Yeah. That's, That's not fake either. Jamie's a bad liar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he is. <laughs> Crispy asparagus. No cream cheese, but I'll forget. I'll forget it. I actually don't think I've had mashed potatoes with cream cheese. Did you go to the Thanksgiving party? Did I have that? Yep. Oh, they were good. Very good. Mm. Well, everyone. You better enjoy what you cook because you did a great job. Thank you so much. I'm going to take a bite. Mm. So that was quick and easy. Super we got quick. done in right under an hour. Um, oh my about God. an hour with prep time. So, girl, yes. This is good. I'm excited to eat. Whoever this. asked that braided salmon question, I swear it's way better braided. Good night. Oh my God. What are you looking for? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, we just made a meal together, but she can't share a fork with me. I can't. That's okay. COVID. Can't share anything. I got it. Oh my gosh. Oh, that is so, so good. good. <laughs> oh my God, that's so good. Yay, us! And thank you, Jamie. Um, thank you everyone for watching. If you guys have any questions, I don't know, because we're about to turn off. So I guess ask us when you see us. We're gonna be thank eating. you everyone for tuning in. And Grady, back to back you. Back to you. Oh no, <laughs> wait, my snowy, hang on. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> okay, uh, yes. Thanks everybody, pro streamers here everybody. Uh, I'm sitting here in my warm, cozy house in front of the fire here with my, I've got my ramped up cafe coffee. Um, here enjoying this uh this cooking show i hope you all enjoyed it at home i hope you all had a good time watching that we had a good time putting it on um so we really appreciate everybody who tuned in everybody who watched thank you so much we literally could not do this without you <laughs> temporarily evicted from the winter cabin yes um definitely should have uh should have checked that scene change before i i went back there but you know what it's fine i got my i got my bow tie i got a little snowman on my shirt i'm enjoying a toasty beverage and uh you know having a good time here when it's 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 rainy outside it's so rainy outside as you can see in the i'm going to touch the window right here this is the window why is my hand green i don't know it's definitely because it's a window um yeah thank you so much for watching we had a great time putting this on i hope you enjoyed watching it um as I mentioned at the top, we're here uh, all the time, streaming games and hanging out. Hey, Amber, good to see you. Um, so yeah, I want to run through kind of our schedule and what we've got coming up for you. Hopefully, if, uh, if anything strikes your interest, you can uh, show back up later and tune in. We have another hour play some Fortnite, says Haley. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to squeeze in any Fortnite tonight, but every Monday from 4 to 6 p.m., you can see yours truly playing a little bit of Fortnite right here. In fact, <clears throat> got some notes right here. Saturdays, 
every Saturday from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. Do you play Minecraft? Do you like Minecraft? Do you know somebody who likes Minecraft? You do. Everybody either likes Minecraft or knows somebody who likes Minecraft. It's a scientific fact. Uh, starting next Saturday, every Saturday, Minecraft with Instructor Brian from 5 to 7 p.m. Tune in. Check it out. Uh, Mondays, myself, yours truly, me, 4 to 6 p.m., Fortnite, right here in this chair. This chair. This one. This chair. The chair that's green, which makes it look strange on camera for no particular reason. There's not a green screen here. That's something else. Um... Mondays, 4 to 6 p.m., myself, playing Fortnite. Uh, if you like Fortnite, you can play with me. Jump in the chat. Say, hey, let's get a game together. We'll play together. Later on on Mondays, 8.30 to 10 p.m., Charles in this chair, he does a bunch of different stuff. He plays retro games. He'll bring in his old uh, N64 and plug it in. Um, and he makes music and he makes beats. He'll put it up on the screen there, and you can watch how he goes through the process of making songs. It's super cool. That's every Monday uh, right here on the uh, Sports Social Entertainment Gaming Network uh 8 30 p.m tuesdays cody 8 to 10 p.m he plays a few different things sometimes he plays fifa sometimes he brings friends in plays some team games some co-op games uh always good time very entertaining streamer that's every tuesday 8 to 10 p.m wednesdays rocket league do you like when cars hit soccer balls into goals and then blow up because i've i got a game and a stream for you it's called rocket league it's every wednesday right here 8 to 10 p.m with alejandro excellent super entertaining definitely check it out Thursdays is Jamie. Do you love his work at fixing cameras and being behind the scenes during cooking streams? Then you're going to love his Thursday 8 to 10 p.m. slot. Uh, he's a variety streamer. He plays all different kinds of stuff. Sometimes he plays Fall Guys, uh, party games, rhythm games, lots of different kinds of games. Sometimes he has a guest on, does a little co-streaming with somebody else. Lots of different stuff going on. Um, finally, Fridays. Every Friday, Apex Legends, 4 to 6 p.m. A little bit more of a little bit more of a competitive edge to that stream. Frank, he's a really good player, takes it really seriously. You can learn a lot from him. Uh, definitely a great Apex Legends stream. And then again, as I mentioned, Saturdays are for Minecraft, 5 to 7 p.m. That's with Brian. Uh, that's it. Nothing on Sundays. Maybe we'll get something on Sundays soon. But in the meantime. Thanks so much for tuning in. Like I said, we literally could not do it without you. If you feel so inclined, uh, hit that little heart button and follow. That helps us out. If you feel even more inclined, you can hit that subscribe button. Uh, it's $5.99 a month, and uh, it really helps us out. Nice bow tie. Thank you, DeWitt. Appreciate it. Pop, pop, pop. I got, I got uh, snow, snowmen on my, on my thing here. Yo, thanks for the follow, Doof85. I believe you subbed at the top and then followed now. You know what? Both are great. We love them both. Thank you so much. In fact, oh, I was going to make air horns go off, but I don't have them activated on this channel. If we were back at the cooking thing. Anyway, it's not important. Thank you so much. Absolutely. You're unorthodox. You know what? That's that's great. We love it. Che cheers to that. Um yeah that's uh that's all i got once again just thank you thank you so much oh you can hear him i just can't hear him for some reason interesting i don't okay all right so whatever it's fine pro streamers everybody we know what we're doing yo many many maddie fancy fireplace thank you so much you enjoying my enjoying my oh no it's on this side see i can see it it's it's here in the room it's right here with me cheers cheers why does my cup disappear when i put it over here no reason look don't 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 look at that it's fine <laughs> dewitt who are you who is who is dewitt that's uh, kind of a philosophical question when you when you get right down to it it's really a uh, <laughs> drink ranch says james van cleef um yeah definitely good to see you thanks for being here everybody uh all right that's gonna do it for us for today but once again um follow sub uh, all that stuff if you would like to you can always watch our content 100% for free you never have to do any of those things but if you do sub then you get our cool sweet uh, custom emotes like these ones we got the Jamie's and the sleepy Andrews and the and the Cody's and the little cool friend tickets there um, but that's going to do it for us for today I love the deep answer but we are genuinely curious I mean I, I, I don't know I'm not going to dox people right here on the stream Haley I don't know I don't know what to tell you <laughs> Uh, DeWitt is a fan and a supporter. That much is true. You can tell we got that little diamond right next to... Oh, no, I moved my, my cursor and stuff popped up on the top of the... Anyway, don't look at that either. 
<laughs> a friend of Grady's. All right, thanks so much, everybody, for being here. Uh, please enjoy the soothing sounds of some royalty-free holiday music on the way out. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. We will catch you next time. Thank you.